introductory course for American Rumba. Now this time we'll talk about the timing for American Rumba. So what is the timing? So how, it's how we listen to music, how we count our steps. So to be very specific, we start with the numbers. So we count, count it till count four. And we have on the first count, we have a one, then we have count two, and on count three, four, we have only one step, three, four. So it's a little bit slower. So let's try again. So we count it. One, two, three, four. If we translate more into the rhythmical way of counting, it's going to be quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. But it's not always understandable what, what means quick, what means slow. So quick means one beat. So it could be one, two, or three, or four. And slow is going to be a two beat. For example, one, two, and it's going to be one step only. Or three, four, it's going to be one step only. So as you see here, when we're doing our basic step, we have step side, we call it count one. We have together, we call it count two. But on the step forward, we say three, four, and we still at the same step. And it will be similar if we continue with our basic American Rumba step. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or more rhythmical way of counting, which is a little bit more simpler. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick quick, slow. And quick and slow relate to how long we stay in the same step. So if quick means we stay not too long, only one beat. Another quick means we stay not too long. And our slow means that we stay here a little bit longer, two times longer as the previous step. And quick, quick, slow never means how fast your foot gets on the floor. So your foot should get on the floor pretty fast in every step. But how long you stay in that step? This is already up to the rhythm. So this was timing for introductory course.